Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday and a huge congratulations to our fifth graders who today are promoting. We are so excited and looking forward to celebrating everything that they have achieved this year. We're also really looking forward to it because we have one of our high school seniors who's a Weaver alumni, Michelle Tavy, who will be sharing with us what her plans are for the future. And then she's coupled with an absolutely extraordinary third grader, the wonderful Emily Wu, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And then we're going to be focusing a bit on this personal best. You know, because it's really, really important that we're talking about being our best. And so the authors of Inch and Miles, uh, Tim and Peanut Harper, sat down with me to talk a little bit about personal best and what it means for you to be able to show it every day. Because it's not always about being the best. It's about being your best. And so they're going to share a little bit of that insight that goes into it and what John Wooden meant when he put that at the very, very top of the pyramid. Because on Friday, we're going to be celebrating kiddos in each class who demonstrate their personal best. So go out there, have an absolutely amazing day. And to the class of 2021, our fifth graders, congratulations. We cannot wait to see what you do in the future. Have a great day, everybody. Hi, my name is Michelle Tavey. And for the fall, I'm gonna be taking gap year before going to the University of Tennessee. And my favorite Weaver memory would definitely be the carnivals or playing soccer at recess. Go Bulls. Good morning, Weaver Whales. My name is Emily Wu, and I'm in Mrs. Nguyen's third grade class this year. Please stand to join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remove all caps and hoods and place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please be seated and thank you very much. Have a good day. All right, everybody. So great to see you. Good morning to everyone here. I'm super excited because once again, I have the always extraordinary Tim and Peanut Harper with us, who, as you may remember, were very instrumental in helping us understand inch and miles. And I'm so glad that they came today because as we wrap up this year, it is so important because we're going to be celebrating. The focus is gonna be on that top block. If you look at that block, it says personal best. And that's what we're gonna be celebrating. That's what we're gonna be recognizing. That's where we're gonna be spending a lot of our time in these next couple of weeks, just really understanding what it means to achieve your personal best. So I'm happy that Tim and Peanut are here to talk a little bit about that. But one of the things before we get into it, I wanted to share with you, because in the book, as you know, each one of these blocks has a different character. But of it personal best, it doesn't. But instead, it's kind of like they went through their whole journey and they got to the end to understand it. So I'm going to share with you the poem that's in here. And then I'm going to ask Tim and Peanut a couple of questions. And we're going to find out a little bit more about that top block on the pyramid. So here we go. It says, together they reply. Success isn't having trophies or toys. It isn't a medal or friends of your choice. What is success? That's easy to see. It's trying to be the best you can be. Don't worry what others may have or might say. When trying your best, success comes your way. All right, so, oh, thank you, thank you. It's really easy to read your words. Works out really well for me. But what I want to start with here, okay, so Peanut, I'm going to start with you. So if you look at the pyramid that you were so gracious to put up there, and there's, there is Coach Wooden with Inch and Miles, which is fantastic. Personal best is all the way up at the top, all the way up at the top. Why is that block where it is? Well, first of all, thank you, Principal Schmidt, for having us always. We love being with you and and you know, just really are inspired by everything you do to help bring Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success to life with your students. So as you mentioned that last line in the poem said, if trying your best success comes your way and in the top right corner, you guys can see how Coach Wooden defines success in kid-friendly terms as success is happiness in your heart because you made the effort 100% to do your best. And that's the top block personal best because it's like, as long as you're trying your best and you're using 
every one of those blocks or trying to get 1% better every single day, you're reaching your personal best. And Coach Wooden always said, be your best when your best is needed. And that's every single day. So, you know, we, we look at the pyramid of success as a personal best block at the top as your destination every single day. You know where you want to go. You want to try and be your personal best every day. And all those blocks represented on the pyramid of success is how you can get there. It's like your directions to get to your top block, which is your personal best. So look at it just like it says at the top, your roadmap to success. So, you know, maybe just pick, pick one block every single day trying to get 1% better at it and you're reaching your personal best. That's fantastic. And I like that so much because what might be your personal best doesn't mean it's gonna be my personal best. Everybody's gonna have their own journey and their own roadmap, but what success is gonna look like is gonna depend on each and every one of us, which I absolutely love. So Tim, we have kiddos getting ready. We've got about two more weeks of school. I think everybody, including my teachers are itching for summer vacation. But I wanted to ask you your advice, because as they get ready to go for summer vacation and next year, we're going to be starting a new year that's going to look totally different than this past year that we just had did. So if you could give advice to our students about how they could achieve their personal best, what would that advice be? Well, uh, first of all, I would also like to say we've had such a great time hanging out with you guys this year. Thank you, Principal Schmidt, for always involving me and Peanut at Weaver, and congratulations on your award. And I'm just going to say right off the bat, you guys, teachers and students, you've earned yourself a break. <laughs> what a year. Are you kidding me? So spend some time sleeping in till noon every day if you can. Or, you know, just relax. Look at that enthusiasm block on the bottom. Enjoy your life. You've earned it. And so to answer your question, I want to go back to the poem that you read. Don't worry what others might have or might say. Oh, my gosh, because it is personal best, right? Principal Schmidt says it's up to you. If you look at the pyramid, personal best at the top, drop all the way down to the bottom. What do you run into? Loyalty. Loyalty. So to me, that means it's up to you. Be loyal to yourself. You are the coach of you. So it's up to you to give your best effort, to find those things in life that you love, to be a good friend, to be kind. It all starts with you. Be a good coach and get yourself out there and do all those things necessary to be at your personal best. I, I, that's perfect. I don't think I could have said it any better than that. So again, on behalf of everybody here at Weaver, I just want to say thank to, thanks to you two for being not only part of our year this year, but really kind of helping us take this journey with you, with Inch and Miles. I'm so excited because next year, this next upcoming, we're going to be keeping going. We're going to be focusing on some of the same blocks we did this year, some different ones, thinking, you know, the friendship block will be very, very important for next year. But I'm also very excited because I know at some point here, I'm going to actually get you both here. So you can see these bright, shiny faces of all these amazing kids, all these amazing teachers, our incredible community, and be able to really kind of bring that story of Inch and Miles in person. So that's happening. That is just happening. Not wait. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Oh, Have a great summer, everybody. Summer. Woo!